Hello, it's Azumi again, and let's do some Utgadar. I get, I think I'm confident on that I'm saying that halfway right. So first, I'm using Mecha Fist Rin as my tank, and you're definitely gonna need High Holy Rings here, and the more AOE Dark Gear, the better, because you're gonna have to crush the crystals. Um. Glimmering armor is very important for the blocking of the light magic attack because you cannot use healing gear in this fight. And the same thing with HP up. HP up is going to be how you heal. So next I got Fei Lang. And again just more of the same. Um, HP up gear and dark AOA gear. And I got the Slayer Ring for some Crystal Crushing. Make it a little bit easier. Now I'm using Bon. And the only thing different about these are it's fairly new, but it just hits three enemies, so it's pretty good. More of the HP up gear, which these wing shields are very, very important. Um, get those from the Bifrost. Um, and the reason I am using Bon is because of Buff Swipe. Buff Swipe helps. And Lumiere for her skill basically, she set up as support. And on last we got Night Condor Luca or Nodka. And, you know, just HP up gear. You get these from Meji. They're pretty good. I would recommend getting a couple of them just to have. The only reason I'm using this is because the HP up. I could care less about this. Alright, so let's go with the fight. So, Transcendent Utgadar is Yotun and is Airborne. Um, probably not going to want to use Aesir, Yotun, and Beast on this fight because they get inflicted with Paralyze. Unless you use Sangrid. Um, also going to want to keep in mind that Reckoning applies to all races, so that means no healing gear. You're gonna, that's why at the beginning I emphasize the HP up gear so much because that's really going to be your only way to heal and having and or having some kind of shield. Um, there was also a misfield on Utgadar's second and third HP bar. Um, there, and you're going to have to have the Holy Rings and the for, and there is no 7 star so only high holy rings are going to be effective don't even waste your time with regular holy rings uh, best elements going to be dark uh, you could substitute maybe water and earth he's decently weak to those but because of the crystals are important to crush you're going to want to just go ahead and stick with all dark damage like I did and moving on to the crystals the front set of crystals, which are going to be considered the magic row, gives a light magic attack counter for three turns to all of its allies. So probably not going to want to use any light magic attack at all. And your skill gauge 10% down to your whole team. So that's why you keep seeing my skill gauges drop. Um, the Holy Field is created by the back row of crystals, and they also inflict Light Wound to all enemies and confuse Aesir, Humans, Yotuns, and Beasts. Um, a couple other heroes you could use would be Berserker Bear, um... You could use Sif is pretty decent for this because she has a Yotun killer. Um, Solstice isn't a bad tank. Neither is uh, Snake Blade Lady. And you could even use Awakened DL because of her passive with having the Airborne killer for the whole party. 
So we're about done here. Well, Luby's health gets a little bit low. Uh, it happens sometimes with the HP gear, but I still did it in less than three minutes. We'll take a look at the gear here. I mean the damage duh and thank you for watching and have a good day.